And today we have brand new video showing new videos left after a powerful 6.9 magnitude earthquake rocked Taiwan. Now this quake was reported overnight. It was so strong that it toppled buildings and broke bridges. Here's a report from Keith Ong. A strong earthquake struck southeastern Taiwan, bringing at least three buildings down in a small town and tearing up roads. But forecasters later lifted the regional tsunami announcement. The USGS said the quake hit at 2.44 p.m., about 50 kilometers north of the city of Taitung, at a depth of 10 kilometers. Its initial strength was given as magnitude 7.2 but the USGS later downgraded it to 6.9. Multiple aftershocks were also recorded. Japan's Meteorological Agency and the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center issued tsunami advisories shortly after the quake, but both later said there was no longer a threat of high waves. In the Taiwanese town of Yuli, a two-story building that had a 7-Eleven convenience store on the ground floor collapsed. Video footage posted by Taiwan's central news agency showed panicked residents running towards the building, which sent up a thick cloud of dust as it caved in. The Hualien Fire Department said four people who were trapped in the building were rescued. Two other buildings in the town collapsed, but no one was inside them. Two nearby bridges collapsed while two others were damaged. The Taiwan Railways Administration said a train derailed at Dongli Station in Hualien after it was hit by concrete from an overhead canopy that came loose during the quake. Photos released by CNA showed the train's six carriages leaning at an angle in the station. TRA said the 20 passengers on board were evacuated and no injuries were reported. Shaking was also felt in the capital Taipei and the southwestern city of Kaohsiung, with residents posting videos of chandeliers and paintings swaying on social media. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen urged people to be vigilant for further aftershocks. A 6.6 magnitude quake hit the same region on Saturday, and there have been multiple tremors since, with minimal damage in what is a mountainous and sparsely populated rural region. But Sunday's quake was much stronger. The China Earthquake Network Center said tremors were felt in coastal areas, including Fujian, Guangdong, Jiangsu, and Shanghai. Taiwan sits on the ring of fire, an arc of intense seismic activity that stretches throughout Southeast Asia and across the Pacific Basin. Most of Taiwan's population lives on the flat western coast and in the capital, Taipei. There are few international tourists in Taiwan these days because the island maintains mandatory COVID quarantine for most arrivals. That's all for now. Reporting from Taiwan, this is Keith Ong. We live in extraordinary times.